Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is feeling about you. This is going to be an energy check-in video to see what is going on behind the scenes of this connection, okay? What uh, are you maybe not seeing, you know, on an energetic level, right? Because we only perceive like 0.001% of what's going on, okay? There's so much that's going on behind the scenes energetically in other realms and other dimensions that are just not visible to our conscious self or naked eye. And that's why tarot exists. That's why uh, different forms of divination exist, okay? And I'm here to convey messages from your person to you, okay? So I'm going to start off this reading by picking cards from the Numinous deck to see what messages your person has for you, okay? Okay, what do they want to let you know? Um, okay, so the first card that we have here is the fifth house. Okay, I'm seeing, okay, wow, the fifth house of passion. This person is still really passionate about you. Um, they still feel that spark whenever they think of you. They haven't gotten over you. They definitely look at your pictures. They find you to be really attractive. Even if you feel like a lot of time has passed by or you're just like, I don't even know like what's going to happen in this connection because this person, you know, has barely reached out to you. Or, you or maybe they like you know sort of breadcrumbed you and you were just expecting more from this person this is a message from them that they haven't forgotten about you that they do still think of you you're still on their mind uh in their heart okay yeah we got performance entertainment creativity um love okay romance like they want to romance you they want to spoil you they want to really be there for you okay um i really feel like you know this fifth house also has to do like casual relationships maybe this was kind of a casual relationship but you wanted it to be something more and i feel like this person also wants it to be something more i feel like at the time maybe they weren't really ready because uh they were still you know they still had some emotional baggage that they needed to process and you know I, i'm seeing that they're kind of scared that they're losing you for good maybe they feel like you're moving on and that's urging them to take this connection a little bit more seriously to take life more seriously okay and they I feel like whatever's happening needed to happen for this person to have that realization and for them to come back and value you and prioritize you more, okay? So that's definitely a sign that I'm seeing here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick some more cards. Okay, we also got the fourth house. Okay, by the way, I'm getting Leo Cancer energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, something could be happening during Leo Cancer season or maybe you met during those seasons. They could be relevant in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, we got the fourth house roots. I'm definitely seeing that. Um, yeah, someone... Okay, I, I feel like, you know, this person has literally thought about moving in with you or maybe you spent a weekend or like a night over with this person and they think about the time that you spent together. Maybe like, you know, you stayed at their place or they stayed at your place. Um, I feel like the both of you have like similar tastes when it comes to like aesthetics or the way that you want to live. Maybe the both of you, you know, have this commitment to your family or uh, someone here is like really family oriented or this person has thought about having a family with you. I, I keep getting like cancer energy, uh, familial roots, okay? Maybe you even have like a similar like familiar familial structure as them like uh maybe you and your person could both be like you know the the firstborns or the middle children or the younger children or maybe uh you know they have a younger sibling you have a younger sibling there's something similar okay there's something similar about your um either familiar familial structure or background or roots or something like that like even if you come from different cultures or religion or races or whatever um i feel like the way that the both of you were brought up like you were able to notice the similarities and how they were raised and how you were raised and that's something that made you really connect with them i'm just seeing like you know uh this is associated with cancer and this just reminds me of like that emotional connection like you feel an emotional connection in some way shape or form with them okay and if it's not what i listed or stated um that's okay i'm just seeing something to do with the fact that like you know in the future they definitely you know they, they have thought about living in with you what that would look like maybe you've thought about how it would be like to live with them maybe you even think about like oh if we were living together how would i split the finances um how would this work out okay maybe like you go out and like you know do chores and errands and maybe you imagine your person being there with you okay so this is a sign that if you're manifesting this person and you've been getting these thoughts that's a sign that your manifestations are working because the fact that you're getting thoughts like that means you know that's impressing on to your subconscious mind which is a really good sign okay so yeah um we also got like yeah self-care i feel like you've been indulging in self-care i feel like this person also cares about self-care um i also feel like you know this is a message that i'm getting this is kind of specific like maybe you like the way that your person takes care of their home 
okay like i feel like they're pretty good at you know when it comes to like chores like you know living well like living clean or like maybe that's something that's important to you or you know maybe you're the one that does that like you have a really nice tidy space okay um or like you care a lot about your space because maybe you spend a lot of time at home i'm definitely seeing someone here as the home body or like you know you like spending time with them like i mean you like going out with them but uh, i feel like they're definitely just thinking of the times that you spent together like indoors just having these deep conversations and talking okay i just feel like home and shelter and like indoors are like you know popping out to me okay again i'm also getting cancer leo placements on moon rising venus someone could have these placements but it's okay if not it has more to do with the energy we also got the seventh house okay the seventh house has to do with like relationships and connections you really felt a deep bond and connection with this person i feel like you got you know you got along really well as friends i do feel like you had that fun flirty uh like you know vibe okay like that you know friendship vibe and also that like uh yeah flirty fun like passionate full of romance type of vibe okay uh, obviously like you know relationships need that friendship uh vibe to really you know take off and i feel like the both of you you know had that with each other which was really amazing okay like i feel like your person really appreciates that like they see you as like their best friend and like you know they want to be your best friend or like maybe you you know like the things that you told them like you know it kind of felt like they were your best friend um you know you could like just talk to them about anything uh you felt like you could be your true authentic self with them you could be vulnerable with them okay yeah uh this is partners companionship best friends marriage relationships okay i do feel like this person has thought about what it would be like to be married to you um what it would be like to be in something you know deeper and committed with you okay like they definitely have had those thoughts this also says justice balance equilibrium okay like i do feel like this person wants to like you know be with you and like they want to be able to you know uh be on your level be on the same page okay i do feel like you know this is the type of person who likes communicating or like even if they haven't been communicating right now i feel like if there's something that you want to tell them something that they've been doing that you don't necessarily like or vibe with like this person will be open th this person will be open to hearing you out like i do feel like uh they have that sense of maturity in them okay um yeah we also got here oh cancer again also i'm getting some libra placements on moon rising venus okay yeah feeling sympathetic okay again the both of you do have that connection okay i also feel like there's this feeling of nostalgia that they feel you know being with you i feel like they've been getting particularly emotional recently and they've been like thinking about you in a more emotional manner like they've just been seeing this connection through a different lens in a different light okay this also says like receptive lunar moody i'm seeing something do with their mom i feel like they have a certain connection with their mom and maybe like you kind of like researched into this or like you know you asked them about their relationship with their mom i'm just seeing like that's popping up or maybe they did something like really sweet and sentimental for you that reminded you of something that your mom did for you or maybe like you have like motherly nurturing vibes um that made them feel really safe okay yeah i, I just feel like you know the both of you are nurturing this connection by like feeling the feelings that you feel for each other okay yeah this also says like family oriented and also introverted i feel like someone in this connection uh at least one person in this connection is a little bit introverted okay yeah sentimental caring i feel like this person really did and still does care about you uh, and I, I feel like sometimes you think of like the sweet things that this person did for you the wholesome things that they did for you i do feel like this person really likes matching energy they did match your energy at times and it was like the best thing ever it was like the sweetest thing ever and that's why you really miss this person i feel like the connection that you had with this person you're just not really finding with other people uh, maybe you could be finding really nice people but it's just like that connection is just missing and i feel like that's how this person feels about you as well okay like they just haven't been able to connect with anyone the way that they've been connecting with you okay so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from my midnight mystique deck to see what other messages we have here okay i love this i've been getting this card a lot we got justice okay yeah with this justice i'm seeing that like uh you know this person wants to make sure that this connection is really fair to you they don't want you to feel like you know you're not getting anything out of this connection because that wouldn't make them feel good because i do feel like this person does have giver tendencies maybe more than some of like you know the past people the past lovers that you've been with okay yeah we also got here the ace of swords okay i'm getting uh, air sign energy aquarius libra gemini sun moon rising venus with this ace of swords i do feel like there is a new beginning coming in for this connection and much better communication coming in okay because i feel like something that was lacking or missing or something that you were just kind of frustrated about not receiving as much was communication but i feel like this person is going to be communicating with you more and more and it's going to surprise you okay you're gonna be like wait this person's like barely ever like you know done things like who are you and what have you done with this person okay but i really do feel like this person has been thinking about you a lot and they really do want to communicate with you i'm also seeing like you know this person does like it when you take the initiative i do feel like this person um yeah like you know 
they like being pursued and approached. I feel like this person could be a little bit introverted. Okay, for some of you guys, and you know they they appreciated it when you like started things with them. But also, I know for a lot of you, you want to be pursued. You want them to come forward, and I I do think that it's very likely that they will do that. Uh, you know, just a little bit of law of assumption, manifestation advice here. You know, change your perception of them. If you feel like they're the type of person that's too stubborn or too prideful to take that first step or action, you know, you have to start seeing them through a different lens. Okay, assume different things about them. See this connection in. A you know through a different perspective okay so yeah um we also got here ace of pentacles okay earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn okay we got two aces aces signify new beginnings i definitely am seeing that there's a new beginning coming in for this connection okay this has to do with solidity stability security like this person wants to offer you security stability uh, and make sure that you know things are fair to you make sure that you're getting you know what you want out of this connection okay like they want to be able to like they want you to show them off to other people like they want you to be able to brag about them and like you know they, they want to like really be that person for you that person that like you know maybe change their perspective on love um because you have changed you know their pers uh, perspective on love i feel like you motivated them to you know work on themselves more and maybe work on themselves on a deeper more subconscious level to get rid of certain limiting beliefs that they may have had you know regarding love and relationships okay so i, I definitely am seeing there's a new beginning coming in for this connection uh when it comes to like the communication aspect and also like you feeling safe and secure uh with them okay because i feel like maybe that's something that you lacked in you know your relationships but i do feel like uh you're everything that you know you feel like you missed out on relationships and love um everything that you felt like the universe owed you is coming in for you okay so yeah um anyways i will go ahead and end the reading right here i really hope this helps you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free in your reality i do want to let you know that i offer end up tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching and also custom mixed subliminals so if you are interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you'll find my website you can sign up for those services through my website and yeah i will see you all next time thank you so much